to a world that has lost its sense of self-preservation. Come two beings from far away to try and save the planet before it's too late. Holy f***ing sh! It's worse than Pandora! We've been getting a lot of bad press thanks to this whole Awa bad. But we've got a plan to address the concerns of the people. We've hired the best PR company money can buy. Yes, take it away, boys. Thanks, Mike. Now, we've come up with a catchphrase to sort of remind people, who's your daddy? Dude. What language is that? I must be Canadian. Don't you see what you're doing is destroying the planet? Well, dirty oil is clean oil. And I'm quite excited about it. But this development is polluting the air and the water, and it's adding tons of CO2 to the atmosphere. It's destroying the forest. It's making people sick. It's a Well, dirty oil is clean oil. And I'm quite excited about it. In frustration, they take the battle to the leader of the Canadian Sky People. Prime Minister Harper, as long as development of these fossil fuels continues, your limited resources are focused on the world's addiction. Well, let me put it to you this way. All you need is oil. Oil is all you need. All you need is oil. Oil is all you need. All you need is oil. They even take the battle to the highest office of the American sky people. Uh, next question please. President Obama, if you issue a presidential permit for the Keystone XL pipeline, America will be addicted to oil for decades to come. Well, I see your point, but this is a capitalist democracy and I am bound to the will of my constituents. So that means write and call you? Exactly. And email you? Exactly. And text your private Blackberry? <laughs> come on man, don't be an idiot. If you'd like to see your planet have a sequel, write to President Obama today. Tell him Canada is waiting for his lead to end the trade in dirty oil.